breaking, massive Obama scandal explodes, records are now missing and. For eight years, Barack Obama ran the most corrupt administration in the history of the United States. Republican lawmakers let him get away with everything because they were afraid of being called racist. The dirt on Obama continues to be uncovered. Now, a new report shows Obama's IRS lost important emails belonging to Lois Lerner, who carried out Obama's order of targeting conservative organizations, via Judicial Watch. This is destruction of evidence and obstruction of justice. It's a disgrace that Obama was allowed to use the IRS to target conservative groups politically. This is the kind of thing you see in banana republics not in the United States. Obama's goal was always to degrade America. The Watch Dog Group, Judicial Watch has been fiercely fighting the IRS to get justice for this gross abuse. The IRS has been obstructing justice at every step. The Obama holdovers in the IRS don't want the truth to get out. For the last several years, the IRS has refused to show courts the emails from Lois Lerner, who served under Obama as the director of the IRS's Exempt Organizations Unit. She was the one who would ultimately decide who got approved for tax-exempt status and who didn't. A judge actually ordered the IRS to submit sworn declarations about what happened to Lerner's lost emails. The statements provided were not substantive at all. The IRS treated the judge's order like a joke. With Obama still in the White House at the time, they felt untouchable. Later, the IRS told the court that they had backups of all emails. When called to follow up, the IRS still failed to search for the lost team mails. In other words, they just never got around to it. Now, they're flat out saying the emails are missing. What is it with Democrats and missing emails? The truth is evident. If a Democrat deletes an email, it's because there's something incriminating in it. It was true with Hillary Clinton, and it's true with Obama's IRS. We can only speculate what was in those emails. Maybe there were directions directly from the big man Barack Obama himself. Lerner decided to delete her messages to avoid incriminating her boss. After all, Democrats would rather die, or kill, then let their golden boy Obama get his hands dirty. The cover-up is pathetic and sick. What's frustrating is that there have been no consequences for such a blatant abuse of power. This is an issue where no one disagrees with what happened. Obama's IRS admitted to targeting conservative groups and slowing down their applications for tax-exempt status. Obama felt threatened by the Tea Party and tried his best to stifle them. In total, a whopping 426 groups were targeted, via Fox News. Some of them are still waiting for approval. The problem is that Obama's IRS head, John Koskinen, is still in place. He needs to be fired. President Trump is the only one who can put an end to this madness. First, Trump should terminate all of Obama's appointees. Then, he needs to start a special Dodge investigation to prosecute Obama for abuse of power. Should Trump appoint a special prosecutor to go after Obama for his targeting of conservatives via the IRS? Share this story on Facebook and let us know your thoughts because we want to hear your voice.